YouTube. So Tommy's getting his wisdom teeth out the day before Thanksgiving. He has this month off and then December is a whole training block. So this is his only time to get this surgery that won't affect his tennis. So he was really upset about not having a Thanksgiving. So I really wanted to cook for him and just have him enjoy that. So I thought in turn I would also make a little video for you guys for Thanksgiving to give you guys maybe some inspiration for your own Thanksgiving. I'm going to be also cooking for Thanksgiving. So this is kind of like my trial run. I'm really excited. I also have a lot of work to do today. So I'm kind of going to be juggling cooking with getting my work done. And I'm really excited to show you guys some of the things and traditions that I have. I do a lot of homemade stuff and I also use some packaged sort of stuff. So this is going to be fun to show you guys like what I grew up using and eating and then what I now make for my family. There are so many packaged store-bought stuffing, gravy, all of that, even cranberry sauce. So I'm going to show you guys what we use on the menu today is I want to do a scalloped potatoes, a sweet potato dish, like a mashed sweet potato dish. Um, we use gravy, powdered gravy, like box gravy. I think it's the best. I've made homemade gravy and box gravy. I It's just what I'm used to. I think it's just what I grew up eating. And then I'm going to do stuffing that's actually like box stuffing, Pepperidge Farms, my mom's homemade cranberry sauce, and then my turkey. I've been brining my turkey since last night, so I'm going to show you guys how I prep for Thanksgiving. And I'm also going to have like a bunch of friends over tonight to help us eat all this food. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Quickly, before I get into the cooking, I do want to say I have like a ton of vlogs in the queue to go live. I have a little F1 vlog, I have a Colorado skiing vlog, and a few other ones. So there's like a lot of videos that are going to be rolling out. I'm probably going to start uploading like a few videos a week. Not every week, but I'm always going to dedicate uploading a video on Sunday, but there's going to be like more now on my channel, which is really fun. Okay, let's get into it. I always have to have a sweet potato and a regular potato. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but like they're just t entirely different. And I feel like a lot of people pick one or the other. I'm going to start cutting up the potatoes, dice them, and then boil them. And I will show you how we prepare this. And then right after this, we're going to do our scalloped potatoes, also known as gratin potatoes. And yeah, I'm going to get the potatoes in first and then move into the other stuff. is on cheese grating duty. That's always Tommy's job in the kitchen. I'm gonna act like I'm not cooking this whole meal. <laughs> okay, so the sweet potatoes have been strained. I do a really simple recipe for this. I literally just add brown sugar, a dash of maple syrup, some salt, a little bit of butter, and then I mash it. And then I lay it down and add some cornflakes to the top, and then I bake it. A lot of people add nutmeg or cinnamon to their sweet potatoes. I don't really love that, although I'm a big cinnamon nutmeg girl, making it very brown sugar maple flavored is the best way to go. I don't have measurements for this, which is not super helpful, but I kind of just eyeball it, kind of do like a third of the bag, and then just a splash of maple syrup. Obviously, I like my sweet potatoes really sweet. This stuff is just more for flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Now I'm just going to mash this up. Um, you can use a handheld device to mash this up. I actually prefer it to be not perfectly pureed, so I think that's where the hand masher is great. I'm gonna reheat everything kind of at once before dinner. My family actually normally eats Thanksgiving around three. But since this is like a Friendsgiving and I have a time to do today, we're going to be eating it at dinner time. So I'm just going to get this ready. This is probably the easiest dish besides the gravy out of everything that I am making today. And this is probably my favorite dish. So that's nice. And this is not something that you can only make on Thanksgiving. If we were to make like a steak or a roasted... Um, chicken or something that would be really really good you also don't have to do the cornflakes the cornflakes are a little bit like festive i would say okay here are the cornflakes going to throw them in a bag and crush them up just a little bit
Okay, we're about to do this stuffing. And like I said, this is what my family and I have used my whole life. Herb seasoned classic stuffing. Really easy and really good. So yeah, not making it from scratch today. This is my store-bought favorite. So all it is is butter, onion, and celery diced, and then chicken broth. that I've partnered with Majuri on my YouTube channel. So really excited to be partnering with them again on here. So I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces on. I've been wearing these silver dome earrings for weeks. Really into silver recently, which I never thought I would be into, but I've been really into it. I also have these really cute silver dome rings on. They make the perfect dome ring. With a dome ring, the most important thing to me is that it lays flatter and their rings are dome but lay flat. So they're really like an everyday wear sort of ring. So the good news is, is that Majuri is having their biggest sale of the year. So what I'm wearing right now, these pearls, the dome ring, and then this thin band ring and the earrings are all on sale. This jewelry is high quality, affordable, and just a great gift, whether it's for your mom, a friend, for your partner, whoever. And they really are just like gorgeous, timeless jewelry. I still own my Majuri pieces that I bought like six years ago. So make sure you take advantage of this Black Friday sale and get 20% off your order if you spend over $150. Okay, going to get the turkey in the cooler. This has been sitting overnight in the brine I made last night. Ooh. Hi, turkey! looks absolutely perfect the potatoes just got out of the oven they look super good too we have some other things in the oven now just warming up before we serve dinner and now I'm gonna set the table okay this is my mom's cranberry recipe mom do you want to tell us the story behind the cranberry my mom's also helping with the gravy right now um, well basically I made it in kindergarten like that was the thing you made this in kindergarten yeah so basically my and Jaffe did too my sister and so basically, it's just oh, like the present to bring home in kindergarten yeah, like, to your you know parents. Yeah, like you make stuff in kindergarten and you yeah. bring home for the holiday. Well, we made this at, um, in kindergarten, and so it kind of stuck as a family tradition. That's so cute. So we make it every year. We're going to leave the recipe right here. Um, it's absolutely delicious. That being said, no shame to my mom's cranberry. We also love the jellied cranberry, so we do both. I always eat both. I eat both, too. I think this stuff is so good. Lovers of... We packaged love cranberry. Pa packaged cranberry and packaged gravy. So we're just making the gravy. Nothing right better now. than this gravy. I agree. 
really good. You can put some of the. This like, is what my family's been using my whole life. I think it's so bomb. And you can add some of the drippings from the bottom of the, the bottom of the pan yeah, to we'll it. Yeah, do that, and then it makes it even better. Okay, guys, here it all is: stuffing, potatoes, sweet potatoes, cranberry, turkey, gravies being made. Just wanted to show you guys all the food. It looks so good. Okay, I don't have a proper knife for this, but. Ooh, it's so juicy. Did you just see that? Alright. Man of the house, you gotta cut, carve the no pressure. You're just eating it like this? It is good. Really good. It's juicy. Yeah, we need to like get a plate immediately. <laughs> Injecting the turkey makes such a difference. <laughs> 